Hello everybody and welcome back to another uh, SCL uh, English lesson this time uh, with your host Richard Hilton. Now in today's lesson everybody we are going to be doing an English lesson on writing a review. Okay, writing a review. Now this video is going to be the same as before so there's going to be some tasks for you guys to do at home. Okay, so when you're going to be uh, going through this, uh, going for this video, you can pause at any time, uh, look back on what we've gone through, and I want you guys to have fun. Okay, so there's going to be a few games and a few in interactive bits that you guys are going to have a go at. So pause at the right time so you can have a go at home. Now I recommend that you have pen and paper handy, so you can scribble down a few bits and have a go at some of the games that I've included in today's video as well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, okay, in today's English lesson, writing a review. So, first things first, we're going to start off with this, a game for you guys. So, at home, everybody can take part in this game. Um, so, uh, if you're with uh, your mum or your dad or your guardian or any other adult that you're with, they can take part as well, and they can help you out as well. You can bounce off each other. Uh, the aim of today's game is you are going to use the first letter of your name. So, for example, my name is Richard, so I would use an R. And I would try and name an animal, name a fruit, name a car brand. So you might need help with that one, guys, at home. Uh, name uh, a colour, an ice cream flavour, a country, and an item of clothing. And for me, I would use, all of, uh, I would use the letter R. To answer all of those okay so this is where you need your pen and paper guys okay you can have five ten minutes to do this so pause the video and have a think guys have a think right what animal begins with a J if you're a James for example okay what color begins with a P if um, you're a Patricia okay so pause the video here guys and I'd like to see if you can answer as many of these questions as you can at home now, I'm going to go through them myself. I'm going to jot down some ideas for R for Richard. Uh, and then I'm going to um, share with you my answers. But hopefully you guys are going to jot down your answers as well at home. So pause the video here, guys, and have a go and see if you can answer as many as you possibly can. So I hope you guys have had fun with that at home. I know that I have um, here. Uh, so I'm going to go through my answers really quickly. Uh, let's see. I've got for my animal, I have a rhino. For my fruit, I have a raspberry. Mm. Uh, for my car brand, I have a Rover. Uh, that might have been a little bit difficult at home, but hopefully you've got your uh, your adult with you to help you with that one. Uh, for your colour, well, sorry, for my colour, I've got red. Uh, for my ice cream flavour, now, I was a bit inventive here. I've gone for raspberry ripple. Uh, for my country, I've gone for Russia. And for my item of clothing, a little bit more difficult, uh, but I went for raincoat. Uh, so what I want guys is for you to comment on this video and I would like to hear as many as what you have as possible Hopefully you you were able to answer them all but do not worry if you uh, if you did not because it's only a bit of fun Okay, so let's move on to our main topic for today and that is going to be writing a review Now I would like you to have a think about guys. I'd like to have a think about what is your favorite book? OK, so you might have read it recently. Uh, you might have read it two, three, four times. What is your favorite book? OK, so have a think. In fact, let me give you a little extra task to do while you're at home. I want you to write down, OK, because you might have more than one. I know I do. I know I've got loads of books I love to read. OK, so I've got loads of books at home that I like to read. And I think it's quite hard to pinpoint just one of them. So what I'd like you to do, guys, is to pause the video here and to write down maybe three of your favorite books. So what, when I say, what's your favorite book? Well, what's the first thing that comes to mind? So pause the video here, have a little think at home. See, you know, have a think, oh, what's my favorite book? Uh, and write down the three that you think, oh, you know what? They're my favorite book. Excellent, guys. So hopefully you've got a list of books in front of you. Now, moving on from books, because not, not everybody likes to read, 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 and read. I'm hoping you guys do, but it's not for everybody, so don't panic. OK, now we're going to have a think about. OK, so we've done our book. So now we're going to have a think about what is your favorite 
TV show. Now, I'm going to expand that, guys. TV show or film. Okay, TV show or film. So we've got some pictures there. We've got Scooby-Doo, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, and uh, my favourite, Lightning McQueen from the film uh, Cars, animated film Cars. So again, this is probably a hard question for some of you because I bet you have loads of ideas going on through your head right now. So have a think, guys. What is your favourite TV show? Okay, you might watch it, you know, religiously every every Monday and Tuesday or something, at like two o'clock or something. Or you might have a favourite film. So what I want you to do is, again, I would like you please to pause the video here and have a think. All oh, right, what is my favourite TV show or film? Okay, and I'm going to share with you what mine are. Uh, I have loads as well. I've I've actually written down six. Okay, but there's no there's no limit on it. You can write down one, two. You can write down ten. Okay, so have a think. What is your favourite TV show or your favourite film? Okay, excellent. Now, hopefully, we will have a big old list of films and TV shows in front of us. Uh, now, I'm going to share mine with uh, with you guys, uh, but don't tell anyone. Now, my favourite films are I've already mentioned before. I'm a big Cars fan. Great film, I love it. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Tangled. Okay, Tangled is one of my favourite films, uh, but don't tell anyone. And uh, I've also got down uh, in front of me The Lion King. Now, The Lion King is one of my absolute favourites. It was one of the films uh, that I watched when I was growing up. Um, but yeah, I've got I've got a few few more films, but we won't go through all of them. But they're my they're my top three, I think. They're my top three. Okay, so don't don't tell anyone. That's that's our little secret. Okay. So 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 let's do a rewind. So in front of you on your pieces of paper, okay, you should have down some books that you enjoy reading, some of your favourite books, and you should also have um, also have down some of your favourite TV shows or films. Okay, so hopefully you've got a nice juicy collection in front of you. Now I'm going to ask you at home to do a task for me. Okay, you at home to do a task for me. Your challenge, should you choose to accept, okay, you are going to write for me a review. Now, what is a review, Richard? Okay, well, a review, your take on, uh, on the book or the film. Okay, so what is your opinion? So I would like you guys to write a review on either. Now you can choose, guys. It's up to you. Okay, your favorite book. Okay, or your favorite TV show or film. Now, what am I expecting in your review? Okay, so I would like you to tell me. Okay, why is it your favorite? Okay, why is it your favorite? So maybe you could talk about. Um, a kind of overview of the film or the TV uh, show or the book. Okay, so talk about the characters in it. Okay, talk about um, the plot. So that just means what's happening in the book, what's happening in the, in the film, and the setting. Okay, so where is it taking place, for example? Um, so a kind of overview and then talk about why it's your favorite. Why is that your favorite book or your favorite TV show or film compared to all the others uh, that are available? OK, so I'd like you to talk about the good bits and the bad bits. Now, if it's a review and it's your favourite, there's probably going to be more good bits than bad bits. There might not even be bad bits. OK, that's completely up to you. OK, so maybe pick out a certain scene in the TV show or a certain scene in the film or a certain page in the book that really grabs you. OK, and finally, oh, let me just move me. I'll put me up here. OK. Would you recommend your favourite book, your favourite uh, TV show, your favourite film to your bestest friend? OK, so would you recommend it? So just to, just to sum it up saying, yes, I would recommend it because uh, it's one of my favourite books. OK, one of my favourite TV shows, one of my favourite films. So that is your challenge today. OK, so we're going to write a review. Now, guys, I would like you to include for me, OK, if you're picking a book, uh, the title of your book and the author, so the person who wrote that book, if you're doing a TV series, obviously the title of the TV series, and if you're doing a film, the title of that film. Okay, so you're going to talk about, like we said, uh, do an overview, so the characters, uh, the plot, so what's happening, and also the setting. Talk about the good bits and possibly the bad bits, and also would you recommend this to a friend? 
Okay, now I am looking for, roughly speaking, shall we say, 100 words. Oh, oh that's quite a lot. 100 words. Now, don't panic if you cannot reach that. Okay, and don't panic if you write so much that you go over. 100 is just a rough a guesstimate. Okay, so just a kind of target to aim for. Now, I really hope you have fun doing this task. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video here. OK, you might need, you know, 15, 20 minutes to do this, even 10 if you're a quick, super speedy writer. OK, but pause the video here um, and have a go yourself. And then we're going to go through one more game at the end of today's video. Guys, you're doing great. So pause me here and I'll see you in a couple of not a couple of minutes. I'll see you about 10, 15, 20 minutes. OK, guys, so. I'm hoping you have a fantastic uh, review. Um, if you want to put them in a comment, I can't wait to read some of these. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed doing that. Now we're going to have one more game to play at the end of today's English lesson. Uh, really fun game. Everybody can play um, or just you at home. It doesn't matter if I'm on your laptop TV. It doesn't matter. Okay, now you might have played this game before. You might recognize it. Okay, I'm going to move me again. Bop, 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 bop. Now, this is what we call Boggle, okay, Boggle. Now, I love Boggle, one of my favorite games I like to play at home. So what we are trying to do is, as you can see, we have 16 letters all in a grid, okay? And the aim of the game is to try and find words formed by chains of letters. Now, let me explain that by showing you myself. So what do I mean by chains of letters? So, for example, everybody have a look at this is exactly the same one as I just shown. So I could see I could spell the word pet. So let me show you. So I've got uh, I'll do it like a word search. I've got P E T pet. OK, so that is can you see that the P is connected to the E and the E is connected to the T? OK, so that's what I mean by chain of letters. Now, I couldn't have the word, for example, pig, because I've got P-I is here and the G is here. And notice they're not, these two are not touching, so I'm not allowed to have the word pig. Okay, so the letters have to be touching. Now, you are allowed to go up, down, left, right, or if you really want, you can go diagonal as well. Okay, so another way, if I do a different colour, I could have done pet like this, P, diagonal to the E, which is touching, and down to the T. Now, a few more rules for you guys, just to remember. So if I've used that P, I cannot use it again. So I couldn't use, I couldn't do the word pipe, for instance, P-I-P-E, because I've already used that P once. Now, I'm going to set a few challenges for you guys to do at home. Now, first of all, I want to see who can get the most words, okay, the most words. I've got down here um, nine words. So I want to see if you guys at home can beat nine words. And I also want to see who can get the longest word, okay. I have a five-letter word. Now let's see if anybody at home can beat uh, five letters, okay. So I've got nine, le nine words in total, and my longest word is a five-letter word. So can anyone at home uh, beat me uh, when it comes to those two challenges? Uh, I would like you to post your answers in the comment section. I hope you have really good fun with this. This is for everybody can do this. Perhaps you want to make it a little competition uh, at home uh, against your peers, against your rivals, your siblings. Uh, or you can do it on your own. It doesn't matter. OK, it's really good. It helps build up your vocabulary, helps you with that spelling as well. Um, so I really hope you enjoy this one, guys. And that will be the end of today's uh, English lesson. OK, so the English lesson today was writing a review. So I really hope you enjoyed yourself, guys. i uh, just like to say I hope you're doing really well at home as well. A big thank you from SCL for logging on and watching the videos. Uh, I've really enjoyed doing these and I really look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for another maths lesson. OK, so as uh, as of as of right now, class dismissed. Thank you very much, guys.